Is EMDR effective? EMDR, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing is a very powerful form of therapy that's starting to be used more in the NHS and used more by therapists. And a big question is, well, does it actually work? Now, I've done another video on it, what is EMDR, the basics, and that talks about um, the use of bilateral stimulation in EMDR and how powerful that is of breaking away sort of difficult memories so they don't affect us anymore. But lots of people do say, well, is this actually effective? How do we know that this is effective? So this video today is just going to talk a little bit about the history of EMDR and how we know that, yes, it is very effective. EMDR was actually first discovered in the 1980s, the late 1980s, by Francine Shapiro. And she discovered that by using the eye movements back and forward, it really made um, the past memories be less painful and thus helping people recover. A huge amount of research was done. She originally noticed this, started using it in her private practice and then started using it um, more and more to the point it got research and it was shown that it really does help, well actually get rid of these painful memories. And a lot of the research was saying, well, is it the bilateral stimulation, the tapping backwards and forwards on the eye movements, or is it just having a really helpful containing therapy and talking about or, or revisiting and not avoiding the trauma? Now, really interestingly, the research showed that it was the bilateral stimulation that was the important part, whilst the other um, areas of helpful uh, and it can work with trauma, the real short-term power of overcoming trauma was actually in the bilateral stimulation. And I'll do another video on why we think that is from a neurobiological point of view. So EMDR is actually one of the most researched therapists because it is so unusual and people wanting to know, what well, does it actually work? The Journal of EMDR Practice and Research did an overview in 2019 and looked at randomized control trials. So they're like the, the kind of gold, the best sort of research. And we know that it's something's really showing if it showed in RCT. And they looked at more than 44 RCTs and looked at post-traumatic stress, early trauma, traumatized children, and they found that EMDR was very effective. There's also been more randomized controlled trials on depression, bipolar, psychosis, anxiety disorders, OCD, substance use um, disorder, uh, and pain. And there's evidence there that EMDR is really effective. I've had EMDR myself, and also in my clinic, I've noticed it is really, really effective. And even when people don't expect it to work, it often does, and it can work really well. These are individuals that have had counselling, they've had CBT, they've tried different types of approach, they've got really um, challenging trauma experiences, and EMDR has proved effective with them. And there's some brilliant protocols emerging for different difficulties that's really exciting, and that's anger protocols, working with pain, working with depression, working with eating disorders, and it's starting to be used across the board. COVID saw an explosion in EMDR online, with individuals being able to access it after really difficult experiences with COVID. The EMDR associations has been mobilized to help these people around the world via remote means. And there's some brilliant software that has emerged now using EMDR online. And I work with people all over the world offering them EMDR and we see change without them having to leave their living room. It really is a fantastic approach. If you'd like to know more, there's a particular video on my website done by an EMDR association, which is very good and it interviews different people about their experiences of EMDR. And that's at morvanhillsprivatepractice.co.uk. If you'd like to learn more about EMDR or trauma or psychology in general, please subscribe. And if you think this might be an avenue you'd like to go down, you're very welcome to fill out one of our self-referral forms online. That goes to, through to me and say that you're interested in EMDR and I can allocate you to the most suitable therapist. Thank you.